previously did a video where I showed some of the dynamic memory and remote effects capabilities. And one of the demonstrations was around playing the Halo 2 game. And a few people asked for a video of just that. So what I'm going to do is the same as before. I'm going through, I'm going to show the remote FX USB redirection as well by mapping through the Xbox controller. Make sure I've got the LAN 10 megabit experience. Lower that down. connect through as before I fire up device manager where you see the controller has been passed through Display adapter, I see I've got the remote effects graphics device. So I'll launch Halo 2. Remember, this is running on my home lab. This is just a standard commercial NVIDIA graphics card that's really meant for sort of home use. This is not a full production level hardware environment. So I'm using the Xbox 360 controller. Let's actually manage the game. You can see I'm basically the same place I was in the last video. As you can see, I mean, it, it plays as if you're running it locally on a machine. Hey, check it out. The malt has already driven off its borders. Malta, what's your status? Over. I don't believe it. They're retreating. We won. And that's it. So I just wanted to, to show that. Just really show the power of remote FX. Hope you have a, a good day. Cheers.